checking in as the hurricane is set to strike Florida's west coast earlier and harder. The 11 p.m. advisory just in. All of South Florida is under a tropical storm warning. The strong storms are spawning at least two tornado touchdowns in Broward and Miami-Dade, overturning planes at North Perry Airport. And the waters are rising in the Florida Keys after hours of steady drenching rain tonight. Time is running out for people to get to safety. We have live team coverage on Hurricane Ann tonight. And we begin with Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis and Hurricane Specialist and Storm Surge Expert Michael Lowry. Good evening, everyone. We're going to talk about what's going on here with Hurricane Ian. This is a very powerful hurricane. It's becoming larger by the minute. This one is about uh, 110 miles to the southwest of Naples. You can see that Interestingly enough, the uh, circulation has changed a little bit in terms of its structure tonight. You can see that it's gotten much bigger. The inner eye of this one has shaken out and we have a much bigger eye that has formed out of this one. We zoom in a little bit. You can see the uh, winds here, 75 mile per hour winds down in Key West, gusting to hurricane force down here. This is a, a very powerful hurricane that became much bigger in the last Oh, six hours or so. Some of the gusts there in Marathon, 52 miles per hour. I want to focus on the eye just for a second. We're going to get to the new advisor here just in just a minute. Um, but I want to show you very quickly, if we can take this one full, the eye before the eye wall was only about 15 miles or so away from where the center is. The eye wall is where the strongest winds are. If you look where we are now, over 30 miles. So this has become a bigger hurricane, which means we're going to have bigger, broader impacts here in the coming days for the coastline. It means it has more opportunity to sweep its uh, uh, storm surge and the heavy rainfall across the parts of the peninsula, Betty. All right, I, I just want to backtrack a second sure. and let people know the very latest on the stats here. Uh, winds up 120 miles per hour, moving north northeast at 10 miles per hour. So no big changes with that as we work our way into the night. You can bring the view back over to Michael and Betty. You can do that and we'll just keep it in the monitor. There Thank you, you very much. Yep. So it's moving north northeast at 10 miles per hour and we're tracking it as it heads for a landfall uh, going toward Wednesday. So that's going to be key and uh, just uh, really fine tuning exactly where it runs ashore. The story for us here tonight, though, Michael, has been the tornadoes. It has. We've uh, been under the gun, unfortunately, tonight here in southeast Florida. Tornadoes generally happen within a day or two of landfall and ahead, uh, Betty, in some of those outer rain bands. And that's what we've seen tonight. The very uh, the thunderstorms are the, the cells that are sort of curling very quickly. So if you, um, are, you know, are going to bed here soon, make sure that you have a way of, to receive alerts on your mobile phone um, or otherwise during the evening hours because those tornadoes can spin up very quickly. Currently, no tornado warnings to pass along to you if you're watching tonight from Broward or Miami-Dade. In a few minutes, I'll be uh, going back over where those tornadoes hit and we'll take a closer look at the Doppler radar, Michael. But let's get back to... Uh, Ian and just what we're seeing with it tonight and what it has produced down in Key West, that third highest storm surge on record, it's, or the is, Keys. This, this is really a remarkable storm so far. I mean, it, remarkable in, in all the wrong ways, unfortunately. It's become much bigger, Betty. It got a little bit closer to the Key West than we expected it to. Uh, these are just the tides, so we're going now into a high tide. We're expected uh, that here in the next half hour or so, and the tide levels have just continued to rise there in Key West, exceeding two feet. Going back in the record books at that particular tide gauge, we can go back to 1913, so over 100 years. This is the third highest storm tide, that's the storm surge plus the tide, that's been recorded here behind uh, Hurricane Irma, uh, as well as Hurricane Wilma in 2005. So this is a big storm down here, and, and think about it, it's, it's still you know quite a ways from Key West, and what could be or what could happen here for parts of Southwest Florida. Right, it is, it is living up to what we expected it to bring for the Keys, and that was the storm surge, and now we wait to see just how bad it gets uh, along the Southwest Coast, that reasonable worst case scenario up to 12 feet. Yeah, and I think that it looks like it's going to materialize somewhere here, we believe, south of Sarasota, into Port Charlotte, um, uh, Fort Myers, down to even uh, parts of Naples, six to 10 feet. These numbers are, are new this evening. They kind of bumped the numbers up there in southwest Florida down to Marco Island. We could see some uh, uh, very large numbers in terms of the water. Again, the storm surge is just the coastal water, the seawater that's pushed ashore. But Betty, this is not just a coastal story, obviously. We got uh, a lot here to worry about across the entire peninsula. You know, again, things are not great down here in southeast Florida, right. but things could be a lot worse, all things considered. 
over two feet of rainfall possible, and that extends all the way into northeast Florida. Right, and we still have rain to come over south Florida. Uh, we picked yes. up several inches today, easily uh, 46 already in some parts of the Keys, and we may get some areas that push around the foot of rainfall. Remember, we've got to push some more rain uh, bands through the area. Is that your last graphic? It is. All yes. right, I'm going to take it back to my source sure. because I want to show you one more thing. We're just bouncing okay. around, keeping it interesting, keeping it fresh for you we out are. there tonight. All right, so Dade and Broward impacts. I want you to know that we're still going to plan on some more rain bands coming through at times, and we still are not out of the woods for tornadoes. Winds tomorrow in Dade and Broward, I'm thinking sustained 25 to 30, gusts 40 to 50, and we mentioned the possibility for tornadoes, but Michael, it's overnight for the Florida Keys where the winds are still going pretty good. Yeah, and you can see that the highest winds that we've seen all evening uh, in the Keys are happening right now. Gust over uh, hurricane force, which starts at 74 miles per hour. So, yeah, still have a lot to worry about here in the Keys. That storm surge threat, the coastal flood threat's going to continue. They're dealing with isolated tornadoes as well as the storm surge, Betty. Hurricane Ian definitely keeping us on our toes.